What's good, Home Squad? It's your boy, Home Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And today, we got a Meg the Stallion, Megan the Stallion reaction again. And we got Never Play featuring RM. Now, he's part of BST and such. And A. Hey, one thing I gotta say when it comes to Megan showing her full commitment to anything like you can say weeb based type vibes especially when it comes to the Japanese culture and such I mean for goodness sakes the last one was that that Mamushi one and such where she literally is really did the video in Japan and such and I gotta say this from when that's to me personally right I didn't even realize to me right I didn't even realize that the whole thing that when it came to the song called Mamushi, I didn't even know that it was about a myth, myth, like a Jap, Jap, Chinese myth, Jap, Japan, Japanese myth. God damn it, I can't talk. Or just some type of ancient myth about a snake woman and such. So, and look, with all these types of people, especially the Christian believers and all that, look, I'm just saying to me personally, I don't even go into that realm of how depth the thing is and all that. Me personally, if it's a good concept on a song, it's a good concept of a song. And hell, even with the dance move that's been going around with it and such, to me, that just adds more value to the song because you created a dance move out of it. I mean, hell, she even did the dance She even did the dance move in the music video for the song. So, me personally, Whoever, for them type of people who goes too much into the belief of certain shit like that, <laughs> to me, y'all be them buzzkills when it comes to a song. That's just me. But we got Never Play by Megan, and the fact that already, just from what I looked at, just from the thumbnail, as you see, oh, she going full. To me, ever since that Otaku Hot Girl one I reacted to, and then with this one, with the Mamushi and then, then with this one, hey, what can I say? I feel like Megan the Stallion has gone full nerdcore to me. But we better check this out. Sorry for the long intro. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get into this. cap i did see like a little sn i saw like a little snippet on like club shay shay on shannon sharp's like instagram or youtube not instagram youtube reels and such youtube shorts where i ain't gonna cap she was saying about how most men when it comes to the female rap and such that they want to act like they don't want to bop to it to me personally let's be let's straight up be honest so this is how i feel and i don't care what anybody say whether it's from a man or whether it's from a woman, is the if the music is fire, the music is fire, S straight up like that. That's how I believe. Cause trust me, I wouldn't care even if she is talking about, even if she is the female. So what? Mo Let's be honest. Most female songs are most even more better than most niggas songs. Let's straight up be honest. And that's me as a nigga saying that. <laughs> so you cannot deny it. I mean, literally. Literally, you got motherfucker, you got mo, you got motherfuckers like a, you got niggas doing a dance move off of a lady song, off of a female rapper's song, than most male songs and such, and that's saying something to me. So, hey, I don't care. As long as it's fire, I don't care. I gotta say the animation already is fire. Just with the whole thing like this. This 
this girl did not just do a Hadouken. Hold on. And knowing that RM is probably gonna speak his language, you know what? Fuck it. Let, let's just go into it. I don't care. Mm, blue honey, blue. Hold on. And then I hear the Chi Chi ref. Because I saw on Instagram with the whole Balma and Chi Chi reference and such. Hold on. Oh, y'all finna be thin. Big money like boom up like big chi cheese. Run the world, everybody come see me. No tax for my passport. I'm the big bitch jumping out the PA. So don't try to make me take a P test. Check the credit, you know who wanted to throw this hard. I can't help that. I'm dead. And you cannot deny it. And look, I don't care what anybody say, cause I know some of y'all gonna talk about oh she look here, at the end of the day, she you cannot deny. Megan the Stanley is fine and crazy enough. Most motherfuckers <laughs> There are these certain crazy motherfuckers out there who thinking that Megan Thee Stallion is a transgender. My nigga. That's what I say sometimes people be just... Y'all need to get off the internet. <laughs> Straight up. And, as, I'm, and as, as a person who's from a Gen Z era, but let's be honest, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Even though I'm born in this era... I am nowhere near I am nowhere near the beliefs of any of these shits that they be coming up with. S especially when it comes to I'm sorry. But let's get into this. But hey, I don't care what you say. Not only she's fine, but she can wrap her ass off. Total package for me. I'm sorry. I'm the big bitch jumping out the PX. So don't try to make me take a PT. Check the credit, you know who wanted when the focus hard is hit. I can't help that I'm that girl. They be talking, I don't care. Beefing with your because animation. you do not exist in my world. Three things I mm. don't play about myself, my money, or my man. Mention one of them and best believe I'm gonna be at your head. One, two. Ain't no way this girl popping the boot. That's a fire ass attack. I ain't gonna lie. The booty popping attack. My or my man. Mention one of them and best believe bow, I'm gonna bow, be bow, at your bow, head. Bow, one, two, three, four, three, four. Five. Five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. No, we on the way. Counting zeros every day. You know that we never play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. No, we on the way. Zeros every day. Okay. Alright, let's get it. Hold up a second. Hold up a mother loving second. Correct me if I'm totally wrong, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But I've heard of BST, right? Or BTS, sorry. I said the name so wrong. Don't slander me. But I've heard of, the, because there is a group. And if I'm not mistaken, right? Ain't they Japan? I could be wrong, right? I could be totally wrong, but hold on. Let me, cause I heard is either Japanese or Chinese rap group. Hold on. I know it's a boy band, but hold on. What was? It? Oh, so it's a South Korean group. Cause I'm like, hold up a second. So they are first Korean pop. Cause I was about to say like, hold up a second. I was honestly on, on, I'm, and I ain't even trying to be racist or anything like that. I thought these niggas was Japanese. Straight up. <laughs> That's how I thought. I literally thought these niggas was Japanese. Cause the way how he came in, speaking English and shit. Correct me for my ignorance, but... Hold up a second, this nigga just came in smooth as hell. Hold on. Let's go, Evan. You know that we never play. Yeah, we going for Avis Light. Yeah, and make him on the way for Asian men be paid away. Smooth and turn off the digital yard and look so better, so better. Fuck it, this nigga saucy as hell. Hold up. Run the back. You know that we never play. Yeah, we going for Avis Light. Yeah, and make him on the way for Asian men be paid away. I 
I need to see him and Contrast be on a song. Hold up. Contrast, you need to collab with this nigga. The eight boy. Yo. And look, and you know what's so this is what's so crazy about this whole entire thing. Y'all remember when people used to all people used to always bully and mock people for liking either anime or video game, but mostly anime. If you watch anime, oh they will think you're a weirdo and all that. Nah nigga. Not in this not today. Cause trust me. Your favorite rapper or your favorite artist, like a Megan Thee Stallion or favorite celebrity, they be watching some anime. So I don't want everybody. So for those who always still want to clown on people for watching that, just guess guess what? Your favorite artist probably start liking some, start watching some anime, <laughs> and you and you see how quick now you wanna start hopping on the trailer like, oh I like to watch some anime now. I love me some anime. Nah, you wasn't saying that when. You wasn't saying that months ago, but now all of a sudden, now when your favorite artist wants to say that they love to watch anime, now all of a sudden you want to say you love it? Nah, stay at your lane. This, and for me, and this is what I'm saying, I never said I did, I never even heard of the term anime. I always just thought it's just cartoon, straight up. That's what I always believe, but ever since when I came into the nerdcore community and listened to certain, to listen to their songs, trust me. I know about I know the difference now between cartoon and anime. But all, but my thing is people always used to mock people there were always this certain thing where people always mock you for watching anime or on some nerd stuff and all that. Nowadays, nigga, oh trust me. People would rather be much of an anime weeb or a nerd and such than be certain losers out there. Or certain alphas out there when knowing them well, they be the most loser shit ever. So trust me, if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be called for watch if I'm gonna be it's basically like this. I'd rather be called a weeb and such. Even if it's an average weeb, I'd rather still be called a weeb for watching and doing what I love. Then be called for a loser type alpha or whatever. Then nine times out of ten, they do be they do the most sus shit. Hold up. just be me. Let's get it. Okay, what you say? I'm putting this bitch on my playlist. Fuck you, me. Play. Hey, hey, One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Play. Play. Hey. Turn around, girl. <laughs> Yo, I don't care what anybody say. This shit was fire. I yeah, so hey, for all them motherfuckers who want to say like, oh, I, I wouldn't want to be bumping no girl shit, nigga, because let's be honest, y'all probably, because y'all probably never heard of good music before, hey, to, that's why I say to me, I wouldn't care who it came from, a female, a male, don't matter to me, because at the end of the day, if the music is fire, the music is fire, simple as that. But hey man, shout out to Megan, shout out to RM of BST, BTS, sorry, I keep forgetting it. Look, y'all don't slaughter me in the comments, but yo, this shit was fire. You best believe I'm finna download this shit on my playlist, on my hip hop playlist. Hold up. Yeah, Megan definitely went full nerdcore on this. I don't care what anyone needs to say. And RM? Straight up. Hey. Sorry for my ignorance, cause I always thought y'all was Japanese. My fault. So y'all Korean, so it was my bad. But either way, 
that shit was fire nonetheless. But hey man, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.